Hey guys, it's KJ for you, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 22. And we're just here on our space station. We're in our, um, our welder slash grinder ship. And I got a couple things to talk to you about today before we even start. Now, first of all, one thing I want to talk to you about is there's a new feature in the game where you can automatically dock to landing gear. And you can automatically get out of it as well if you push hard enough. So check that out. So what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you the control panel for it. It's really, really neat. And it's kind of weird that they just came out with it right when I made my docking station. Like the very next day, the uh, the update dropped. So it's really cool. What you're going to do here is you're going, to, you're going to go to your landing gear. And right here, you're going to have a brake force. And you're going to have an auto lock feature. And I toyed around with the brake force. I got it to about 9.2 kn, whatever the heck that is. Uh, the brake force. So that's how much force it takes to get your ship off of the landing gear. So we're going to do a little test here. I've already done this, but I'm going to show you the test I did. Uh, basically, I want this thing to land so if something bumps into it, it doesn't go flying off into space. But I also want it to be able to like unlock on its own. So you can see right there the landing gear thing is blue. That means the auto lock feature is enabled. And we're just going to come up right next to it. And th there, we're locked. But I don't like the position I'm in. So let's, uh, let's try and get that a little better. Alright, so there we go. Go up there. Go like this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright. Can't even get closer to it. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of the ship and I'm going to run into the ship and see if I can move it with my own body. Like, say something comes along. Say I'm coming along even and I bump it. It didn't move didn't move at all now if I hit it with another ship it might actually break loose let's uh let's do a little test here I mean this is kind of dangerous but I'm gonna I'm kind of curious on what kind of force <clears throat> it would need to break it loose so let's see what we got here let's see if this moves yeah so that does move but even if it bumps into it it might jar it loose a little bit but it's still gonna stay relatively locked although I don't know. It's not solidly locked. I don't, I don't know how much I like that. I mean, it's probably going to be okay as long as I don't bump into it with something like a big ship. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. The thing is, you can't you can't turn up the locking mechanism too much because if you do, you won't be able to like take off yourself. Like right here, if I if I go forward, back, left, right, I can't break loose. I have to actually turn and like kind of jar myself loose. If I turn that up anymore, I probably won't be able to get out of the out of the lock. So that's pretty much the best I can keep the lock. But I still like it. It's pretty cool. And I love the way you can come out of the ship and you can just kind of kind of walk up this thing. You know, I could probably I'd like to be able to get out of the ship without my jetpack on <laughs> and be okay, but I don't know. That might be asking a bit much. Uh Whatever, it's fine. It does its job. Alright, so, come up here. Alright, so, another thing I did by accident is I was grinding some stuff off this ship, and I accidentally uh, grinded off the thrusters pointing in this, on this thing, pointing in this direction. So, I can't really move that ship now, because if I do, if it gets going in that direction, it'll never stop. So, we're going to go ahead and replace those, uh, those welders. So let's go ahead and come in here. I think we need some plate. And we're going to come up here. And just put this on. One will be enough, I guess. Come on. Well, it, it was two, so let's put on two. And uh, what happened was those thrust... I, what happened was I knocked apart uh, a piece of, like... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Light armor block. That was like holding the thrusters on, but I didn't really realize it. And then the thrusters started floating away, so I grinded the thrusters out. So I actually didn't lose the thruster material, so I should have everything in here that I need to weld it. So let's go ahead and weld this. Should be relatively painless. Okay. Alright, so I got a couple new platforms I want to put on the space station. Um, right now, the one you're looking at is, obviously, I already mentioned it, it's the space space station, uh, like, ship docking thing. I don't know what to call it yet. But uh, that's basically, you know, the way it is. And then I'm also going to make another same type of platform that's going to be a drop-off for the ship 
materials. Uh, basically, the ships will fly in. Here, I'll show you right now. Let's uh, first of all turn the welder off. Okay. So basically what will happen is the ships will fly in from whatever they're doing. And I'm going to build a platform right below me, right here. Okay, it's going to come off on this end and it's going to come this way. And basically it's just going to have a couple of uh, uh, collectors. And that's the ships are going to come down with their materials and they're going to drop them off here. I'm not sure how, quite how I'm going to design it yet, but I, it's okay. I got designs in mind. I just needed a place for the for the area to go. Then I'm going to make another platform right here. And right here, the platform is going to be for my ship modules. Uh, I didn't want... Some people said I could put my ship modules right here. But I kind of want to keep this uh, this roof kind of, I don't know, clear of clutter. I don't really know if it matters, but whatever. Uh, I just like things to be a little bit clear and organized. So what we're going to do today is we are going to... We're actually going to build this out a little bit. So let's come on over here. And I've got a nice little design I want to do for this thing, so let's see how this works. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Actually, we're going to knock this off. And, oh boy, I lost some metal plates. Darn it, let's go get them. I don't want to lose metal plates. What I'm going to do is we're going to... Well, let's go get those metal plates first of all, because I actually have to, to decide how I want to do this. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, I'm going to store some stuff and get those metal plates. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to make this um, area right here a thin, like, walkway. And then I'm going to make it branch out to a bit of a more circular landing pattern, landing thing that, like, ships can land all around it. But um, the thing is, I needed to know what ships I want to land here. Because these are going to be my, my most used ships and i didn't want to like i was basically thinking about taking this out and making a big round, round landing pad here and having everything land over here but then it's just running this way and taking time for basically no reason uh so i'm going to leave this here and i'm going to make another landing pad for my drill ship and this is the second ship i made and i still haven't had anywhere to land this thing so let's uh let's take care of this thing now so all we got to do is come over here and see how much room we need honestly so, yeah, I'm thinking like right there should be good. All right, so let's see what we got here. First of all, let's turn the right way. Yeah, I think we'll have the landing thingy right about here. And I'm just going to cut this out so you can see where it's going to be. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's good. We can now move this out of the way. Okay. And let's uh let's actually just build as much as we can and then I'll just uh you know I'll finish it up all off camera. So what I want to do is I want actually no I need to know how far up to Oh, well, we can put it a little bit farther. Let's actually add that one more layer. Come on. All right, how's that look? You know what? I'm going to want to count this. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so one more. I don't know, I'm probably making this way too big, but whatever. Oh, by the way, remember I went down to get that steel plate? Yeah, it was one steel plate. I should have just left the damn thing. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> You should never just double click and take all you can because it's it's stupid. Because all you're doing is uh is taking extra weight for no reason. Take like 400. That's plenty. All right. So we'll just finish this up right here. And then what I want this to do is I want this to mirror what's going on over there. So let's see what's going on over there. All right. So it comes out. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, we could just make this the part that comes out. Screw it. It's already getting too long on it for no reason. All right, so that goes out, and then we need to go out one more time. So this will be like this. Yeah. This is this space station is going to be a, a space station of excess. <laughs> uh, and I think it needs to come out one more time. Well, hold on, let's see. We got that. And... 
Wait, let's see what we're doing here. Okay, needs to go out one more. So three and like that. Uh, now I don't know if I want, I don't want to make this thing perfectly circular. So what we're gonna do is actually this shouldn't be well no that'll work yeah that'll look cool yeah yeah okay we're gonna make this kind of like an oval like that how much iron do you have? oh plenty of iron normally this would be a nightmare to weld but uh, with my trusty welding ship it's gonna be uh, no problem at all I love it. By the way, I was playing a multiplayer game with Asteroids, uh, like, a week ago. And with, like, a bunch of guns set up, and we were having trouble keeping enough ammo in the guns. And even with the even with the guns stocked with ammo, they were having trouble keeping up with the Asteroids. I kind of feel like this game, at least on this world, I put too much work and effort into it to have Asteroids come in. And even if I have guns, there's no guarantee that they're going to stop the Asteroids. I think I'm going to leave Asteroids off for this Let's Play. If, uh, if you guys, like, hate that idea, if you really, really want me to put on Asteroids, then... You know, you, you let me know, but I might not even do it then. Because, you know, like, again, I work way too hard on this world to have asteroids come and destroy stuff. And if I set up guns around my base and the asteroids still get through, I'm going to be upset. And, uh, you know, uh, I promise you, I promise you, next season I will start the game with asteroids on. Okay? But for this season, no asteroids. Alright, we need to decide how big this is going to be. Oh, we, we did the, this side wrong? Yes, we did. Okay, that's an easy fix. Right? Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Oh, boy. Okay. Huh. Getting some strange lag. It's kind of weird. Like, actually, frame per second lag. Which is strange. Anyway. Is that big enough? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I could probably keep my uh, my modules here. Yeah. yeah. I could keep my modules here. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so is that big enough? Now, what I really want to do with this is I want to put a landing gear right here. Ah, oh, crap. I can't put it in the middle. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, what are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> man, that's really going to bother me. <laughs> oh, well. Put a landing gear right there. Okay? And what that landing gear is going to be for is it's going to be to dock large ships onto. And I actually want to do this today. This is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be grinding that ship up. And in order to grind the ship up, we need a landing gear to clamp the ship onto. And it's actually going to be, it's not even going to be, you know, auto lock or anything. It's going to be hard locked. So, uh, what am I doing? I need to go to weld. Okay, and let's go ahead and weld up that landing gear. As usual, I will do the welding of all of this. Actually, we could probably get this multiple things here. Oh, come on. Get multiple things here, why not? So, I... Again, what I'll do is I will weld up this entire platform, uh, you know, in between videos, so. I have everything for that landing gear that I need. Yes, I do. Let's help out. Now, without this being auto-lock, I am going to need something on this end that I could use to lock it on, so... You know, the auto lock is good for like my small ships and stuff, but I probably won't use it for big ships or and I definitely won't use it for um grinding, you know, thingies. So alright, now we could leave this ship right here and be lazy, but why would we do that? Because we have a docking area. So there we go. Alright. I love it when I come out, I'm right here. See, the thing is, if I get in the ship from here, I think I come out from here. So, I'll always be, like, on the platform. But... 
Okay, so that thing should be ready to move into place. So let's uh, let's get this big bastard into place. All right, you big sob, you've been around for too long. All right, let's go. There we go. Turn it on. All right, we have movement in all directions, so we're good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dock the front end to that uh, to that landing gear. So we're going to come around like this, like this. And we're going to try and move this into position. And then I'm going to grind it from the back end right up to the uh, landing gear. Although I'm having trouble seeing the front, even at different angles. That's worrisome. I don't want to knock into the landing gear. I think I've got plenty of room, though. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a little tough because I can't really see the front, even from up top. can't tell. Uh, I think you need to go a little lower. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay, so what's going on over there? It looks like we should have locked in, but we're not. Alright, first of all, this door's gotta go. This door is always annoying to get in and out of. I should have grinded it away a long time ago. When, when your spacesuit is on, it is so hard to get through doors. I hate it. And there we go. Piece of cake. Okay. So let's see what we got over here. I did see sparks. Um, hmm. Maybe the problem is it can't connect because of this. Uh, what is this landing here done? Yeah, maybe. Is it connected to the ship? Maybe it's not connected to the ship because those pieces aren't done. Let's see if that landing gear is connected to the ship. No, it is. It's this one. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's work on this. Let's see what we got going on here. That should be well. It might not be close enough. Let's say maybe we couldn't because that conveyor wasn't uh, wasn't fully built, and now it's not close enough. There we go. Got it. Now we just gotta lock it up. <laughs> Very good. See, I don't like using my jetpack on this area. I like to walk when I can. All right, landing gear number two. Lock. Now get our trusty ship. All right, and that should be locked. Let's bump into this. And see, uh, actually, let's turn off the... Uh, Let's turn off the thrusters, bump into it, and make sure it's not going anywhere. It's kind of weird. I thought my jetpack was off there for a minute. Now, there's a new option in the game called uh, that will remove remove. Uh, remove structures that you're not using like uh but i'm not quite sure how it works like basically if i turn on trash removal any uh extra ships i have any parts of ships that go flying off if they get far enough away from me or un or i don't interact with them after a certain amount of time they'll just disappear which could really help with your game but i'm a little nervous about it i'm not quite sure you know how it works but i'm gonna look into it and, and i'll probably turn it on pretty soon yeah, this, this ship ain't going nowhere. Alright, so let's go over to our control panel. Turn on our grinder. Now this is where having multiple grinders would help. 
Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm debating not even tearing up this whole ship because I just should wait until I get a uh, ship with multiple grinders. I think uh, when this platform's done, I need to get to work on the drop-off platform, and then I need to get work on the module platform, which actually might be this platform, and then I need to, I need to get to work on my module ships. So it's got, it's got to be a priority. You know, we should probably take this down first. Yeah. So. All right, I'm going to do this grinding off camera. You, you can see, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding here just to show you guys, you know, how fun it is because it is actually quite fun. But uh, I might do most of this grinding off camera or I might just skip it all together and wait until I get my proper grinding ship. Honestly, what I should do eventually is make a big grinding ship. But that's a lot of work and a lot of time. <laughs> Imagine a ship with, gr with grinders so big, like maybe... You know, 10 by 10. I could just push right through the middle of the ship the whole way. That would be sick. But this is good enough. I mean, you know, how much how much do I really need? Let's uh, get out of here. Sometimes when you leave your ship, you will be standing where the... Oh, God. And, of course, my respawn point isn't working again. All right. So we got to... I might have to move that out, like, maybe over there. I'll do that later, though. Yeah, so what happens is uh, sometimes when you get out of your ship, you're just you spawn right where the grinder or the welder is. There's no way there's no way around it that I know about. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but that's why you keep all your stuff on your ship. You don't keep all your stuff on your guy. <laughs> Very important. And I might have had stuff. I might have had some stuff on me too, which kind of freaking sucks. Yeah, I did. I had about I had a few hundred steel plates. Nah, not the end of the world. All right. So let's come on over here and grab the uranium out. Is that the only thing with uranium? Let's look on this side really quick. Nope, more uranium. I'll have to go out and capture another ship. The only thing is uh, certain ships have guns and certain ones don't, and I really should know which ones have guns and which ones don't. I forget what this ship was called. Uh, I can always go back and look back on my video, though, and find out what it was called. I think it was a cargo ship. Cargo ships, I mean... It has a gun, but it's gunned in... Oh! You know what? I captured this before guns uh, were working. So, yeah, cargo ships do have a gun, but if they're only one, I could make a pretty easy uh, fighting ship that would take take that gun out. Yeah. So you can see right here how fun grinding is and how awesome it is. And, you know, that's what you want to do. You just want to dock the ship and then start grinding. Now let's see what we've got so far. Inventory. I don't know which medium cargo. Okay, so this is the grinder, and I'm not sure which medium cargo container it's putting stuff into. It's putting stuff into this one. So so far, this is what I've gotten for grinding out the ship. That's quite a lot of materials, guys. It might not look like a lot, but it is. It's, it's actually quite a lot. The volume's already at 15 million, uh, or 15,000. It only goes to 80,000. So that's a problem with my cargo containers. But you know. Not much I can really do about that. I guess I could put another cargo container behind it, maybe. I wonder if I could fit another cargo container behind it. Maybe. Not on this ship. I'll, maybe I'll work it out on my other ships. I think on my module ship, I have... It's a good question. How many cargo containers do I have? Two. Yeah, two. Total. So, I don't know. It'll probably be enough. What I would do is I would just move stuff out of this cargo container and put it in this one anyway. I don't know, 80 million might be a lot more than I think, honestly. Alright, I'm going to stop grinding here. Uh, what we're going to do is... We are going to... Come over here. And, I'm, actually I'm thinking my timer's about done. I don't think there's anything left to do in this video, to be honest. Nothing that I can get a lot done. Uh, I'm going to... I may not grind up that ship much more. Uh, I kind of want to make a, a better grinding ship, but we'll see. It depends on it. It, it depends on how how well my uh, materials down below, you know, last. If uh, they last a long time, I probably won't grind that up. There's another yellow ship out there too. Somewhere that Autumn took when she came in my game. I'm not sure where it is. I'll have to go looking for it later. 
But uh, yeah, when Autumn was in my game, she spawned the yellow ship, and uh, I'll probably grab that and grind it up, because she died and lost a bunch of stuff on her a couple times, so I don't mind getting a free yellow ship for it. Alright, so let's park this. And next, f between videos, I will gr I'll, I'll uh, craft this whole thing, and I will decide how my module thing is. I'm, I, see, the thing is, I have to decide how my module setup is going to work, so when I do uh, put modules down, they, they kind of go in cool looking places. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it off camera. Anywho. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So we got a... We got a nice docking station here for grinding ships. Pretty cool. Love it. Alright, so that's going to be it for episode 22. And I'll see you next time for episode 23. Till then, take it easy.